something no the cost of opportunities is always good to know but if you know that then you're good to go yeah no dreams too big chase anything got the passion to do only a dream till it happens to you finally seeing money now i'm acting a fool what's up everybody kevin van voris here welcome to episode three of the vegas prep chronicles it's two o'clock on my way to van voris performance to go train one client uh today's you know, Tuesday, which is very slow for me. I think I have four total clients today. Um, so, pretty slow day. This morning, I don't know what the hell happened. Um, I set my alarm and never went off this morning. No idea what happened. Uh, I don't know if my phone updated overnight, so I didn't wake up till about 9.30. Luckily, Manny stayed there till nine, so uh, the gym was okay. So, I'm gonna introduce you guys to Manny's new car. I'm very excited for him. Uh, it's a big step buying your very first, like, brand new car. So, um, he got a Hyundai Veloster R-Spec Turbo. So, very excited for him. I told him, you know, when I was a senior in college, or going into my senior year, I think, like, right before the season started, uh, I bought myself a brand new, uh, 2014 or is it a 2013 it's a 2013 uh jeep wrangler which is what i'm driving now uh and it just basically helped motivate me you know to try to go to the nfl and uh get my grades keep them up and then obviously keep my finances in order while still being in college so it was a big step and i'm glad i did it um and you know now my jeep is paid off so I actually own this. I can do whatever the hell I want to it. But it's nice. I think it's a big step for you know anybody. My brother just bought his. Um, he just bought a brand new truck, like the most expensive vehicle I think he's ever bought. Because um, he's he's bought like a new Evo, but they didn't last very long. And then he bought like a Jeep, but they didn't last very long. So uh, he bought a you know brand new Ford truck. And uh, so it's it's cool. You know, big things are happening this year to people around me and that's that's what I want that's what I like to see and what I like to hear is uh, that's the type of people you want to be around is people who are moving on the up and up don't be around people who are just gonna drag you down and you know that's why I'm so hard on you know Manny or my brother or my friends because I'm trying to elevate everybody around me so I might be an asshole sometimes but at the end of the day they know that I'm just trying to elevate us so we can keep moving on up on the levels. Um, so hopefully you can find friends like that or family like that where it, they just want to keep helping you get better and better and better, whatever it is, you know, whatever it may be. So uh, I'm going to go train this client. We have, I forgot to bring my camera to uh, this Mongolian barbecue place that just opened by my house. It's great because I literally have two rolls of sushi. Um, three servings of white rice and then I have 16 ounces of shrimp so in one meal I'm knocking out like over half my macros but it's okay um, and a lot of it is protein so for the day I think I have like 50 fat 100 carb and I think only like 90 protein so I'll be full for the next few hours but we have a uh, hyper chest today so I'll show you guys a little bit of that and then we got I just upped my cardio this week because we have 86 days um, till Vegas. So I just upped my cardio to 25 minutes. Last week was 20 minutes, five days a week. Uh, I missed a day, so just because we had a lot of stuff going on with the SRT and stuff, uh, which I will show you guys that on the next episode, not today. So, um, so yeah. So this week my goal is to do 25 minutes, at least five days a week and try and get a sixth one on Saturday if I can. If I don't, it's not a big deal um, because once I get you know another week or two, then I'm gonna really try and push for that sixth day. For right now, five days for sure, 25 minutes. Um, I hit a new low on Sunday, I believe. Was it Sunday or Saturday? I think it was Sunday. Yeah, it was Sunday. Uh, it was 259.6 or 0.8, something like that. So I'm down, um, I think eight pounds or almost eight pounds since we've started this. So by this weekend, 
Uh, my goal is to be, by Sunday, Saturday or Sunday, is to be in about 255. Now again, I told you guys, it sucks for me because I can't weigh myself during the week. Like, yesterday, for example, I went to bed, well, okay, let's not use yesterday because I messed up. Usually, like, I go to bed at, like, midnight, and then I have to get up about 5 or 5.30 and then be at the gym by 6 or 6.30. So... Uh, I don't sleep that much, and that's that's on a good day. Usually, it might be earlier, or I might go to bed later. So we'll just kind of have to see uh, what happens. But I usually weigh myself on uh, Saturdays and Sundays, just because I do sleep in a little bit. So we'll see what my weight is. My goal for this week is to hit 255, um, and just continue to get down. I think if I do get to 220, or when I do get to 220. Um, or even 223, I actually might have uh, visible abs. So we'll see. I already feel better. Like, I know it's not a lot of weight, like eight pounds, but I feel good getting back into the rhythm of things. It feels good to do cardio. Like, my workouts are way better. Um, I gotta get back into kicking, though. I've been slacking, and uh, it's not something I should be slacking on because I could still get a call, you know, in the next month or so. Um, so I gotta make sure I continue to do that. So I'm gonna try and kick today. We're gonna work out at about 6 p.m. So that gives me enough time to kick, or I mean, uh, to work out at 6.30, and then do cardio for 25 minutes, and then kick after that. So I, you know, I'll have four hours or so to do that. So that's gonna be the plan for tonight, and then stretch, but I will update you guys here in a little bit. Um, and I'll show you Manny's car because I think he's still there. If not, I'll show you guys it tonight. So I will see you guys here in a few. What's up, everybody? 5 p.m. Just got done uh, training Kylie, one of my clients. Working on her deadlift. That went well. Um, so what we're doing now is uh, I'm going to go back to the gym. And then uh, I already did my cardio, which is great. We had a member show up at 3 because I was already there training somebody. So I just stayed and uh, worked out because I got my cardio done. So we're gonna work out in about an hour. I'm gonna drink a muscle milk. And after that, my macros for the rest of the day, I'm gonna have a ice cream sundae from Brahms. And that'll be it for macros because I got a bunch of fat. I got about 80 carbs after this. And I think I have maybe 60 protein. So I'll probably have to drink one ice up here uh, and I'll be good. So I'll check in with you guys here at the workout. Alright, hold on, let me roll up these windows, because I know you're probably not going to be able to even hear me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, so it's 10.30, I'm headed home 30 minutes early, which is great. The only thing I did not do today was kick. Um, forgot to show you guys Manny's car, damn it. Alright, I will do that tomorrow, because obviously I will see him tomorrow morning. Uh, the plan is we're supposed to work out tomorrow morning at 6 15 a.m. We got hyper legs. Um, that way I'm done for the day. You know what I mean? And then I have to train people from 8 a.m. till uh, I'm trying to think 8 to 1:30 I think tomorrow. And then I have a 5:30 to 6:30, and then an 8 p.m. and that's it. So if I can get everything done, um, then at 1:30 I can take a nap till 3:30 and then go to work, open the gym at four, uh, and then I can kick tomorrow. So that's gonna be the plan as of right now. I'm gonna take you guys to Brahms real quick and show you what I'm gonna get for the last meal of the day. I did have some beef jerky that Manny brought me, so that covered my protein. Um, I'm gonna go to Brahms, I'm gonna get a uh, brownie mint chocolate chip sundae. Um, and it's basically gonna be all my macros for the day. Luckily, I've kept my fat all the way low. We had a great workout today. Um, I'll start filming my workouts in a little bit uh, once I'm a little leaner. I mean, I'm still, you know, fat, so we'll get that going. Uh, but let me show you guys what I'm gonna get at Brahms here in a second. Brahms, how can I help? Let me get a double dip brownie caramel sundae with uh, mint chocolate chip as the ice cream. Uh, that's it. Cool. Alright, it's 1046. Just got home from Brahms. Let me show you real quick what I'm gonna eat for the last meal. Brownie, mint chocolate chip sundae. I'm really on mint chocolate chip for some reason. So, caramel, all the good stuff. That's gonna fish my macros for the day. So, 
Thank you guys for watching episode three. I will see you guys tomorrow morning, bright and early for episode four. We've got hyper legs, cardio, kick, all the same stuff. 87 day, no, 86 days as of today. It'll be 85 tomorrow. 86 days to go till Vegas. Let's get it. Follow me at Clubboy Kev on all social media platforms. See you guys tomorrow.